And thank you. And I the see y'all really. Yeah, I see y'all turned up in here. You ain't playing, Jack. You got the ladies with you. How you managed to let the convince the wife to let you bring the ladies? She used with to you? be one of these niggas. Oh! I need my wife to be friends with her. We are bullshit. Let me just bullshit, my missing lady. Bullshit, come on. Let's go, just bullshit. We are bullshit. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, Rob. What's up, man? Hey, something real big about to happen, man. Something real big. If y'all ready for the next interview, let me hear you say hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you bring my dog? Let's bring him out real quick. What's up, man? Make some noise for Memphis Bleak, baby. Yeah. Man, how you doing, man? I can't complain, man. I'm fresh <laughs> off the plane, man. Just for you, nice. man. Oh, man, I appreciate you. That is what we really my do. G. Y'all give it up for Memphis Bleak one more time. Coming right up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to tell y'all some funny shit. I'm going to tell you some funny shit about this. Because I, I was on Memphis Bleak. Um, uh, he told me like maybe, I think it was a month ago, he was going to come through. I, 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 I know he's a real nigga, but I didn't think he had time for my show. I saw you doing some famous shit, some, some rich nigga shit this past weekend. You know, on another island. You know I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, they go pour that bullshit. <laughs> Hell kind of fuck. He called me last night. By 10 o'clock, I was drunk as shit. Yes, he oh, was. I was Please. drunk as a scum. He was almost crying on the phone. Like, yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he thought I wasn't going to show up. He like, oh, I already know, man. You telling me you can't make it. Uh, I'm like, nah, I'm there, man. I'm there. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate I, I you being here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, how you ever get that drunk when you're crying and shit? You're, that, that's me. It's okay. so emotional tonight, for Yo. Okay. Word, word. So, Yo, what's up? Man, Big Bleak, man, uh, once again, I want to say thank you for coming to the show. It's really Thank you for having me, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something about this marriage shit, too. Because I remember when you got married, because I think it was, um, you was just, uh, you came, we, I interviewed you like, like three years ago? Yep, yep. And you've been married for three years now? This December will be three years. Yeah, yeah, and I was thinking to myself, why the fuck you doing that? <laughs> I didn't understand that, you know what I'm saying? Because I was so far away from being married. Oh. I didn't. I never thought it would happen to me. I was far away from it too. Even the day it happened, I was still far from it. I woke yeah. up not, not even believing it's me. Like, you really yourself? Like, who is yes. this guy? Yes. Right. That's yes. way, though. But it happens, you know, I love my wife. I would never trade her. I'm a, I'm a Bleak fan. So y'all know I'm a hip hop head. I'm 33 and anything from the beginning that. to the end of hip hop, Chella's on it. That's just what it is. So I got to ask this, but I'm going to reference a line. Bleak could be able to hit away his whole career. Even if I'm alive, he's in. Oh, even, uh, as long as I'm alive, he's a millionaire. And even if I die, he's in my will somewhere so he can just kick back and chill somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, yo, when I you, say you that, diamonds are forever. You better say diamonds it. Diamonds up Sierra Leone, Jay Z on the remix. When when he said that, because we already know Streets is mine and all of that, 9-8, mm -hmm. then on the newer albums, mm -hmm. he always had you, that was always yeah. moving That's together. Me. Then you went through some changes. Definitely. Things changed for you personally. Definitely. And you stepped back off the music scene. So when I when I think about how quiet it's been for you because you've been dealing with your personal life yeah, yeah. and the changes that you went through, I don't know if you guys are aware. No, I ain't know none of this shit. What you talking about? He no, went through some good. really some serious changes it's in his personal good. life. Yeah. This, is, this is new. Uh, <laughs> nah, she talking I'm about the situation with my brother and all yes. of that. Yeah. Do your research. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was a fan of his since Ben Bleak is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he, his first album dropped, he was sitting on the car. That's yes, I went that's to the right, record store right, right, right there. I thought the albums, in but the I, Bronx, I, I went to that record store in the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. So, so, he got the flick of yeah. us in uh, right. What? Hell he got yeah. the picture of us escape key yeah. right now. Right? So I was when DJ yeah. 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 Get the saying. fuck out of here. You know what I mean? We've been on, out here, baby. Classes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. We've been out here. You got an OG with you, baby. Yeah. So <laughs> I always want to know how old this nigga was too, man. <laughs> he will never tell me. <laughs> This nigga can be anywhere from 30 to 52. I don't know how old this nigga now, is. Now, I'm not but tapping into crack. your financial situation. 
people are automatically going to assume because of your friendship and your camaraderie with Jay Z that you're automatically set. Now, true. I don't want to say if that's yes or if that's true or false. Yeah, it, However, I ain't got nothing to do with this you. question right here. I don't. I didn't know she was going to ask this shit. Uh, I, with, nah, no, sure, because. Girl. I, listen, I love Memphis Bleak. There's I've no always loved him. Off the table for me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? When he came, you know, he had a good time. He was yeah, part of a great team. And, and Rock, great, like before Rock time. Nation was Rock Nation, and when they were Rockefeller Records, Diamonds Up, music. Freeway, J, like, come on that now. That was the best when, era. Oh, come that on. was the best era. Now I want Hustler? You come on. crazy. Like, this is going on for You better go, girl. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? His verse was the best verse on you know Now I Want Hustler. 900. 900 Hustler. Now I Want 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 Hustler. Now I but he had the best verse on 100 you know I'm saying, Jack, I Yeah, I'm saying she holding me down. Yes, she is. Yeah. Now people automatically gonna assume like, oh, he's really chilling somewhere, being that he was. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z done obviously Shit. said that so many times. <laughs> we wonder, is it really true? If it if it was true, it wouldn't be no do say. It wouldn't be no Casanova. It wouldn't be no Manolo That's Rose. Right. Yeah. Won't be no Warehouse Music Group. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, that's your shit? Yeah, yeah that's it. I know, baby. Yeah. That's, that's what we're doing. Hey, nigga, me. Yo, that's like, a, you got a, that's a good dude. Yes, when I say yes. good, I mean, like, if y'all ever Solid. met Manolo Rose, yo, he's the he same. He been on the show. Every yeah. single yes. time. I love him wholeheartedly. He's very Shout talented. Shout out to Manolo Rose. He know a video, free. <laughs> uh, free. He ain't got to act. I don't care where I'm at in this world. He can just kick back and chill. Like, that's, that's how right. much love I got for Manolo. So, you're basically saying you're still working. Of course. Like, when Jay said that line, of course, anybody want to be it's secured music. like that. It's and that's, that's my bro. Like, I look at that line as just like the red cord on the train. Right. You pull in case emergency. Right. I pray I never ever hit that emergency. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. You don't want no man taking care of you. I got a man that's I'm right. raising. Well, I don't know, man. The nigga you know got a lot of money, man. I'm like, hey. <laughs> no. Now nah, listen, I got a man I'm raising, and you know but I got to show him certain things. You ain't got to tell your you son that Jay Z taking care of me and Jay. Yeah. That's my brother. Like that'll you never still change. Still attend all yeah. the family events. That's and... my bro. That'll never change, man. He just played me the album probably a week ago. I told him I can't wait. I know wait. that the four forty. Four forty. I, I, I 40. can't wait. I need it. Oh. It's your girl L A. So how is? Oh, now you, you want to say your name and shit when you are talking to Blake, huh? Hey, I got a question with everybody else. Hey, this is L A. That's all good. Thank you. Okay. Memphis, Blake. Thank you. No, I'm Blake. Sorry, we have a question. Yo, what up? Yeah, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> how is it? Okay, no. How is this nigga's dick, man? <laughs> I can't wait. Have him. you and Dame Dash ever rekindled y'all fallout? We never had a fallout. Dame, my homie. That's between him and Jay. I was so my homie. I wasn't getting you? no money with that. Like, right. so ain't nobody like I say. When it's beef with me or anybody I'm tied to, if you ain't kill nobody, cat slap nobody, kid. A wife take no money. Yeah, ain't really no issue. It's just right. I don't play the killing cat shit. <laughs> like you, don't, you, don't you gotta that. physically do something. Just words. Is, that's just emotion. Like yeah, it is. we don't deal with that in our crew. Like you know, mm -hmm. we don't start trouble. We just finish it. Right. So is he still a part of? No, he's not. A, he's family. He's the homie, but he's yeah. not a part of the movement. It's, you know, we we all bigger and new things right now. That's it's right. a whole new regime there. From both ends, you know? Definitely. Yeah. And he out there doing his thing, too. Yeah. Like, ain't no knock, knock on him. Like, mm -hmm. Dame is the homie, so. Right. All right, I have a love question for you. A love I'm, question. Because I'm all about for the love, okay? Oh, My name's Ty. Um, happy Monday, first of all. I'm very interested in how, like, such a street guy. You too, Jack. How much, how, how, for real. How is such a street guy so rough around the edges? And how do you get such an angel to be your wife? Oh, yeah. that's because you turn it off for the women. You can't right. be a, a thug in the crib, right? No, you yes, you know, that's only for the homies. You can't go home and thug your wife. I just no, no, no. no. Yeah. MMA she, she niggas beating their ladies up. Yeah, we just talked about that yesterday. Yeah. You can't be Tupac to your wife. We don't play fight no more because you know I mean? it go too far. <laughs> like you, you, the, that, that's the only, that's the safe part. Like, I feel like when you out in the world, you know, you got an image to uphold. When you home, you yourself, so. Yeah. You gotta have the nice lady to want to come home to. You can't have a, a, a crib full of hell. I'd rather stay in the street. Yeah, and we got a safe word and whatnot. She say, I'm gonna call 911. Can I stop? Oh. That's a word. She has a phrase. Hello, King. Hey, what's My up, name is baby? Ruby. Nice to meet you. Nice Happy belated you. birthday, first Thank of all. Thank you. Try so to be much, all Afrocentric. Oh, Hello, King. Uh, <laughs> <Kansas City. laughs> too much. What's up? So, um, no, you I'm, ain't like that. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. 
So um, yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten a chance to check out your podcast, Do Say Friday. Oh yeah, yeah. So can you just give us a little insight about that? Do Say Friday. It's just it. it's just <laughs> like a um this is something we do in the office. Cause every Friday, you know, being that since Deuce came Do Say came out, we always do something in the office where it's Friday, everybody enjoy the weekend. After everybody get off work, we do like a basically like a party in the office. Mm-hmm. You know, bring the do say ice cream, the ices, the nice. do say everything. Ice cream. Yeah. We got everything. Why you bring some? Where's the do say? Do say. I, I, see, I, I told him I ain't know what type of event this was. I just got off the plane. I would have came through right, but this ain't my last time here, so I will oh, be back. No. No, you come back, bro. You gonna bring some do say too? You already know, but you know do for the summertime, if you want, you could go to the W. We got the do say the leche ice cream at Ooh. all the W's. So. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's we very creative. Do say the leche. That's cute. You know what I mean? We ain't playing out here. And yeah, I'm going to just wait until y'all throw a party there, but that'd be expensive in the motherfucker. <laughs> the so the podcast just, you know, cultivated from that. And we just put it together. Just talk okay. our shit and have fun. Whoever passed through the office, we with it. I see my man got the do say in the cut, though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, I, go, I see you. I see you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We got it. What's going on right here? Yeah, I mean, he ain't playing. Uh-huh. He on oh, that dark yeah. side. I, I, I think he wants you to sign this bottle. That's my shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This our shit? Get the fuck down. We wasn't drinking it from the beginning. So like, the I've been asking for like, like, like a <laughs> damn. Okay. Can we take Can a I shot with you? We was waiting Whatever you want to do. Okay. Right. Right. We was waiting. Yeah. Y'all we got, got a question. Hey, we got a question. Yeah, y'all, got y'all, a question. y'all got a question. Okay, CEO Memphis. <laughs> I like so, that. That's right. I like that. that. <laughs> now, that's right. I know I'm tippy toeing y'all. Don't don't pull my card. Okay, check it. So I know it's a lot of things you look for when you look for an artist. What does Casanova have that Manolo doesn't have, and what does Manolo have that Casanova doesn't have that makes you want to make me start you know, beefing my no, company? No, I'm, I'm saying they you pick both of them for yeah. a reason. They're it's not like. One doesn't lack what the other has. Like, I don't look at them and say, I want this one from this one. They both two different artists. Like, what I like in Manolo, I don't look for in Cass. And like, what I like in Cass, I don't look for in Manolo. Like, I signed them for two separate reasons. Casanova, one, his personality is bigger than life. It's larger than life. I feel like once he walk in the room, he brightens up the room. So I signed him based off of personality and energy. Like, I know that he's going to be someone that brings that New York flavor, that energy that we've been missing Absolutely. from the city in the in the game. And Manolo is just like, come on, oh, he's just deep. Like, he just, Manolo could go from A to oh, Z Ricky with Brown. the rhymes, and it's just like, he write for many different people. That was my song. Don't run, yeah. Yeah, run. Yeah, run. Yeah, run. Yeah, run. Yeah, run. Yeah, run. I was like, it's a little hard right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I just got off the plane. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's why both of them got their deal on two different things. Now we can't drink it yeah. in this cup. Right. I want to know. We, we got to keep it in the paper. Wait. 